Hey Analog Peeps, Don here. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about creating a positive reversal print from large format photographic paper initially shot as a paper negative. I've long been into paper negatives, but also enthralled with things like Polaroids and wet plates and wanted to see if I could find an easy way of creating a similar experience to Polaroids or wet plates. Also being able to do it in the field and especially when I travel, uh, but with a paper negative twist. So this will be an, a bit of an overview of my process for doing so. One thing to note is that my specific process is to do a lot of these steps in a Cibachrome tube, uh, but you can also do this process in trays, in uh, your darkroom or your bathroom or whatever you have access to. Now, let's have a bit of an overview of the process. First off, obviously, you want to go out and shoot that paper negative. Next, under a safe light or in a developing tube like I do, you want to develop that uh, paper negative right through to completion. Next, you want to bleach out all that developed silver, leaving you with just a white sheet of photographic paper again. Next, you want to clear out any of the developed silver that has been uh, bleached but has not actually come out of the paper yet. And then finally, do your second development revealing the positive image. And now let's see those steps in action. For developing, I use Ilford Multigrade Developer at a concentration of one plus nine. After developing, I do a wash with water for 30 seconds. I pour that out and do a second wash again for 30 seconds. The formula for bleaching that I found on Fotrio uses hydrogen peroxide 3%, which is great because I can find that when I travel, along with EDTA free acid powder, and I am using the tetrasodium salt version of that. Uh, sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. After bleaching, I do a single wash with uh, 140 milliliters of water. The clearing bath, also in that Fotrio article, is sodium sulfite uh, mixed with water. I uh, do three washes of 30 seconds each to get rid of any clearing solution that might be left in the paper negative. Then I pull the paper negative out. At this point, it should be both bleached and cleared. If it's not completely bleached, I don't worry about it too much. Uh, throw it into a tray and do the final development. All right, and there you have it. I generally shoot and develop right on site in under an hour. Developing itself takes about 20 minutes. I could probably speed it up a bit. Uh, see a full explanation of the steps in the description below, along with a link to the Fortrio article that will will let you know what the recipes are for the solutions. If you try this process, feel free to drop me a line and let me know how you make out. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching. Hope you learned something.